I got digital dash, can't ride with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got to find the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burn up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I ride through your block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back to with yet another video. Today, I got y'all boys with another glitch video. I just gave y'all the ones last week. Last week, I gave y'all the current gen. This week, I got y'all with the next gen. And I told y'all in that video, the next gen is way better. So, yeah, it's gonna be easier to do. You're gonna get more XP, all that. And like I said in the last one, Yes, you are also going to be getting VC, so you can count this as a badge and VC glitch all in one. Also, when it comes to this, just like on the last one, if you want to make a new build, there's a version for that. In my opinion, that one is not as good as the one that if you already have a build. But if you already have a build, you can't have already done this specific procedure. So it might be better to do both of these for new builds. But with that being said, I will be showing all that in this video. If you guys want more videos like this, I need y'all boys right now. Smash break and show the like button. I, I actually found a VC glitch, so I know y'all boys gonna want that. So y'all want that, like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Without further ado though, let's hop straight into it. All right, for the next version of this glitch, the next version is quite simple. It's gonna be the City Slam. Now, if you've heard of the City Slam, you probably know that these is kind of like the warehouse challenges. Whereas, like, you're gonna be going against like NBA players sometimes, all different types of things, and there's just gonna be challenges that you can do. Now, the thing about the City Slam is, it's a lot more games that you can play, and it's a lot more different types of challenges. When it comes to the Chris Brickley gym, it's literally just you gonna be playing these games just trying to win, and these uh warehouse challenges or the city slams is gonna be challenges where you have to meet like say for instance you might have to get a certain amount of rebounds or a certain amount of assists or a certain amount of points or you have to win by a certain amount so these challenges is gonna make these games a little bit harder to complete and actually accomplish another thing when it comes to these city slams challenges there's gonna be a set of five games and there's gonna be four different places you can do it. You can do it for every affiliation. No matter what affiliation you are, you can do it for all four affiliations and there's a set of five. Then once you're done with that, you're gonna be able to have another set of five and there's gonna be three different sets of challenges. So then that's gonna be like the, the championship where you're gonna be having to do the 2v2, the 3v3, and the 4v4. And there's gonna be another five set for each of those as well. All right, so now that we got all that out the way, let's explain how to do the glitch. So when it comes to doing the glitch, are you gonna be doing, this is kind of more of an exploit, but I'm gonna be real with you, it's way better than any other badge glitch I'm gonna show you guys for either current gen or next gen. It's just way easier. Now, when it comes to doing this, all you're gonna do is just go get it started to do the um, city slam. What you have to do, you have to be able to talk to the dude that be in your apartment, you have to get all that stuff out the way for like the NBA, and then after a certain point in time, it's gonna he's gonna offer you a, a thing to be able to do the city slam. Once you do that, all you're gonna do now is just now go talk to every single affiliation. You're gonna go to every city affiliation like rooftop and you're gonna have to talk to like one of the special NPCs that's gonna be up there. All right, once you've done that, you don't even have to talk to all, all of them. You can just go to one and you'll be able to do it. Now the one that you'll be able to do the first is going to be whatever your affiliation is. If you don't wanna do your affiliation because maybe you have to do more games, like the one I did in this video, it took me three games to be able to have the uh, actual requirement besides just winning the game. So maybe you wanna do a different affiliation than I did because most of these affiliations are only gonna take two games. I feel like I, only, I did the one that took three. So yeah. But whenever you get to that rooftop that you plan on doing, all you're gonna do now is just play that game. Play that first game. All you're gonna do is play that first game. It's most likely gonna be like a no requirements type game. And all you're gonna do is just get that game over as fast as possible. Yes, in this game, you can try to get as much XP as possible. And you're gonna notice, in comparison to the other glitch I showed you, you're getting way more XP. You can get up to 20,000 XP on these game every single game. And you can be going through these as fast as possible. So yeah. Then once you're done with that game, all you're gonna do now is talk to the same person you talked to to start the last game. You're gonna wanna start this next game. Now this next game, if depending on what affiliation you're at, you're gonna either be having the ability to, you know what I'm saying, 
have a, a requirement or you're just gonna have a really easy win the game type of requirement if you have a win the game type of requirement all you're gonna do is treat it like the first game it's that simple when you're in that game you can try to go for as much badge points or just go for it getting the game over as fast as possible this is not the point of the glitch then when it comes to that game if you didn't have a requirement all you're gonna do now is go talk to that dude again and you're now gonna have a requirement now for me i had the requirement of getting five rebounds and assists that's kind of an easier requirement than others i've seen ones that said you had to get six rebounds or you had to get six assists and it wasn't rebounds and assists so those are kind of better so i cert other affiliations that'll be like your second game so say for instance if that's your second game then you are able to do the glitch this is the point of the video where you're able to do the glitch if you did it from my affiliation you know what i'm saying where i it took me three games you're able to do the glitch but whatever it gives you the requirement of you have to do such and such an amount like maybe you have to do six or maybe you have to do five this is where you can do the glitch now when you get into this game all you're gonna do now is go for your badges now if your thing says assist yeah you can go for five assists but just don't get six if your thing says rebounds yeah you can get five rebounds just don't get six whatever it says don't accomplish that goal I'm telling you right now, it's not going it's not going to get you less XP, it's not going to get you less badge points. Just don't accomplish that goal and you'll be perfectly fine. You can even win the game. You can literally even win the game and you'll still be able to do it. Now, at the end of that game, you don't got to close the app. You don't got to do nothing. Just go ahead, get through the game. All you're going to do is walk back over to the dude that you talked to. If you made sure that you didn't accomplish that goal, you'll be able to talk to him and you'll be able to replay that over and over and over unlimited unlimited you can just keep doing that and it's the fastest redoing anything now it's not like last year where you could just close at reload close at reload close at reload yes you're gonna have to keep replaying that game over and over but the thing is you're not having a closed app. You're not having to load anything back up. All you're doing is going in the game, just making sure you're getting as much as possible for your build, just making sure also that you're not accomplishing the goal that they want you to do, and you're going back to talk to them, starting the game back up. It's literally that simple. And I can't make it up, bro. It's literally that simple. And you can get, like I was saying, you can get up to 20K every game doing this. Me, I was going for shooting, and shooting is literally the least XP you can get a game. So yeah, shooting is going to probably be the hardest out of all this. It's probably going to take the longest out of all this if you're going for shooting. But when it comes to playmaking, that's probably going to be the easiest. Finishing is going to be easy. Defense, you're going to get a lot for defense. If you're a big man, you're going to get a lot every single game doing this. So yeah, bro, I'm telling y'all, man, this is a crazy, crazy, in my opinion, it's the best badge glitch exploit in the game and the funny part is it's not really even a glitch bro it's literally something that 2k pretty much just threw in the game i feel like just to get badges so yeah and like i said bro maybe you want to go for playmaking so maybe the assist per game is not the one for you like i said there's four different sets of five you get one of these for every affiliation i did it with the north side knights you can do it with the west side with the west wildcats or whatever they're called the south vipers you can do it with any affiliation and then after you do all four affiliations there's even more so yeah bro i'm gonna be real with you i'm gonna be real with you bro there's endless pop possibilities to how good you can really get the most out of this glitch now another thing i say for the shooting if you want to get the max shooting um, one keynote I'll say when you get to the point where you're able to do the 2v2, the 3v3, and the 4v4, there's a game on the 3v3 or the 2v2 where you can pretty much the threes will count as one point, so you'll be able to get 21 threes in one game. So, yeah, you'll be able to play that over and over, and it's very easy to lose that over and over. Now, it's gonna be very hard to win that game because, yes, it's gonna take you 21 shots to win that game if you're going for only threes, and you're gonna be going against Ben Simmons, who's literally gonna be getting automatic twos. And I believe the two points count as three points, by the way, so it's gonna be way harder than the other stuff, but yeah, just know that pretty much. You're going to be able to, that's going to be the easiest way to get shooting badges. Now, it's going to take the longest out of all the games because you're going to be shooting more. But if you're strictly worried about going for shooting, that is going to be the best game in these City Slam games that I would probably say for you. Nah, Kiko, I know Kiko. He cool people, bro. I'm sending y'all yeah, squad life. Right? You see I'm that nigga, bro? He got an average, bro. <coughs> bro. He ain't worried about us gay ass niggas. <laughs> us gay? Us?
Bro, I can already tell what kind of nigga y'all are, but y'all just like my niggas. <laughs> my niggas be honest. I'm not a nigga. I'm not a. Hold on. I'm not a nigga. No, yeah, bro. I don't like that. That shit. That shit. Cultural appropriation, niggas. Bro, call me Kyrie. Don't call me a nigga. Nah, but we got this one Dominican nigga in my group, bro. That nigga be talking about when he shits his asshole come out and shit, bro. Oh, shit. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, so when it comes to doing the glitch, now, this is not the main glitch, this is just what I would say is more of a glitch than the other one. The other one is better, but I feel like the other one is going to be able to be done on more builds. So I'm going to give you guys this one first because this is kind of the main glitch. So, when it comes to doing this, all you have to have the Chris Brickley gym stuff. So, if you already have, if you already done them, you can't do this part. Now, the reason why I say this one isn't as good is because you're not going to be able to get as much XP per game, but it's going to be pretty simple. All you got to do is pretty much off the rip Look at your quest. If you have the quest to do the Mama Mentality stuff, yes, if you have uh, Rebirth, you've already had the Mama Mentality, but you still got to be able to get those takeover perks. And there's four takeover perks you're going to be able to get from this. So if you haven't got those takeover perks, you can do this glitch. If you have, then just look at the other version. All right, so let's hop into the glitch. So when it comes to doing this glitch, like I said, you're going to want to do it on pretty much a brand new build if you, if you haven't done the Chris Brickley Gym. So... What you want to do is get to the point where you can actually do the Chris Brickley gym. You can do this in college, whether you go to the G League, whether you go to the NBA. If you did the Rebirth, I would just say go to the NBA because, you know what I'm saying, you don't need the other stuff. But yeah, it is what it is. Now, when you get to the point where you can do the Chris Brickley gym, all you're going to do is now put that as your quest. You don't actually have to put it as your quest, but all you got to do is now go to the quick Chris Brickley gym. Now, what I do is, if depending on where they load you, they probably going to load you at your park. I just pretty much tap RB or I think it's R1 on PlayStation to just take me straight to my home and I, it'll just put me as close as possible to the Chris Brickley gym. I ain't gonna lie, 2K, y'all need to put fast travel to like these specific quests so we don't have to run across the whole map just so we can be able to be in one place and stuff like that. Alright, once you get to the Chris Brickley gym, all you're gonna do is just go inside the gym. Once you load into the gym, all you're gonna do now is just find Chris Brickley. He's gonna have a thing above his head, just gonna press A on him. Um, I just spam A until uh, I get through the cutscene, all that, until the game is about to start. And then in these games, it's going to be just a 3v3 type part game. It's going to be on extremely, extremely easy difficulty. It's going to be even easier difficulty than the My Player Nation games. And yeah, all you going to do is just play this game, try to get whatever badge you're trying to go for. Just try to go as crazy for that. Get as much XP as possible in this game. These games are going to be very fast and very easy. And then once the game is finally over, you're going to start seeing the XP and badges and all that load up. As soon as you see the badges and XP finish loading up, all you're going to do is go ahead, close app. That's all you're going to do. Close app. It's that simple. You don't have to delete save data, none of that. All you got to do is close app. It's literally that simple. And then once you load the game back up, all you're going to do is click back on the player you was doing the glitch on. All right, once your player loads back up, all you're going to do is go right back to Chris Brickley Gym, whether that's teleporting to your home and then walking to the door, or if wherever they teleported you, you can just go on whatever you can ride and just go there. Now, right here, if you want to check to see if the badge worked for you, depending on if you got a badge doing it the first time or an attribute doing it the first time, you can check that. But I promise you it worked. I'm going to just say that. I promise you it worked. All you're going to do now to know if it worked for real, if it lets you walk back in, it worked. If it doesn't let you walk back in, then you did something wrong. But what it's going to allow you to do now is just walk back in and you can just keep replaying that game over and over. Now, one thing about this glitch um, if you want to just go ahead and get all of these takeover perks, uh, you would just have to play all four games. Now, the thing about this glitch is, the way it works is you're going to have to pretty much play a game. And once you play a game, you got to pretty much take a break and wait for them to hit you back up. And then, yeah, and so on and so on. But the reason why this glitch is so good is that you can just keep replaying these easy games and getting XP. Now, the thing about it that I say this glitch is not as good as the next one I'm going to show you guys is because of the fact that you get less XP. You're, I, I mean, I was only going for shooting. Yeah, if you went for playmaking and finishing, you would get more. But I was only getting 4,500 to like 5,000. Yeah, you can get up to like 8,000 very easily if you go for playmaking, go for finishing, because those just get you more attribute points, more badge points, all that type of stuff. But with that being said, this just gets you less XP in general. Pretty much half.
But all in all, man, yeah, that's pretty much the glitch. Like I said, there's endless possibilities to that one. The first one, you can do an unlimited, yeah, but you don't get nearly as much XP. In my opinion, you're getting 5k to 8k a game. In this one, you're getting 10k to 20k, bro. Like, that's way more XP, bro. And I showed this one last because it's not really a glitch. It's more of an exploit, bro. It's something that's in the game that's very easy, very easy to do. So, yeah, if you guys want more of these glitch videos, I found a VC glitch. Like I said, if y'all boys want that, if y'all boys need that, I need y'all boys right now to show me by smash breaking and destroying the like button. Do the same thing with the subscribe button and I got that for y'all. Make sure to share this video to anybody you think will help. Turn on post notifications, be the first to every single my videos. Go down in the description down below to follow me on Twitch. I've been trying to go as live as frequently as possible. It's, since I've been uploading daily, it's been a little bit harder, but I've been trying my best. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Like I said, if you guys want more, like the video, subscribe. But without further ado, man, it's your boy Fist, man. It's about to be, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!